right, so here's my melted oil solution and my cooled off lye water solution. So we'll get those combined and get all ready to go. a very very light trace because I'm going to be blending in both the color and the fragrance. I'm not entirely sure if the fragrance will accelerate or not. I don't think it will but just in case we're not gonna go too crazy. So I'm gonna color this all one color. It's going to be kind of a reddish color and to do that I'm going to mix the Merlot Sparkle Mica from Brambleberry and the Raspberry Red Mica from whatever this place is. Nurture soap. <laughs> and I'll go ahead and add my fragrance. I'm using Goji Berry Bliss from Wholesale Supplies Plus or the Crafter's Choice and it smells super amazing. It's very juicy smelling and I think it'll be perfect. So I'm gonna blend that up and adjust the color if I think I need to. super happy with this color. Look, it's kind of a pinky red, like a dark pink, but tinging towards red. And since this soap is ruby, I think this is kind of a good compromise on the ruby color. So I have some embeds for this, as I have with all of my crystal and gemstone soaps. And what I did was I made them out of cold processed soap, and then I chunked them up into small pieces. And then I put them into the bags and put just a tiny bit of that Merlot mica in there and shook them up so they have kind of a coating on them. So you'll be able to see the definition from them even though the colors are kind of close. So there'll be an outline. And those are going to go on the inside. I'm not going to put any on the top. So I'm going to pour in about a third of this. And then I'm going to sprinkle one of my bags of embeds right on the top here. And then make sure that they get kind of evenly-ish distributed. And that's why I have them in two bags also, so that I knew how many to go in which place. So that's okay, more or less. And then I'm going to pour in about another third or so. And I'm going to be careful to not, I want to cover them all. Good. And then we'll just pour in a little more. And in case you're curious, I'm not being too careful with, I did blend it so that it's a little bit on the thick side. This fragrance oil has not accelerated or anything. I just blended it a little bit extra so that it will hold up to the weight of the embeds. So now I'm going to go sprinkle in the others and I'm going to be a little more careful this time to make sure that they get very even. And some of them are a little stuck together. so. To make sure there's no clumpus so that every bar has something in it. And these are made out of cold processed soap as well, so there's no worry about sweat or anything. Okay. And then I'm going to pour the rest of it on top to cover these up. So now that it's all in, I'm going to bang the mold on the floor, or really the other table, um, and that way we'll get any air pockets out, and then I'll come back, texture the top, and spritz it with alcohol. Alright, so now I'm going to use just my spoon and kind of create a little bit of texture on the top. 
because I blended it for so long, it's going to hold a texture nicely so that I can have, you know, just some pretty swoopities going on. And there we go. And now I'm going to use the rubbing alcohol and do a little spritz to help prevent soda ash. And then we'll let it sit for a couple days and we'll be back to cut it. See you then. Okay, we're back to cut our ruby soap. This one got a little warm. Like you can see, there's a big crack down the middle. And if we look on the side, you can see the gel pattern. It didn't get all the way out of the side, so it'll be partial gel, and that's okay. You can also see here on the side some of those little embeds that we put in, sort of sprinkled throughout. I'm super excited to see how it turns out. So let's cut it and find out. That's such a satisfying sound, isn't it? Okay, so you can see they're just barely darker and barely have that little line around them which is pretty much what I wanted. I wanted these to be like, you have to find them. So let's see some more. Let me see again, the little suggestions of rubies, I guess, is a better way to put it, or of the embeds. They're not, some of them will have more, some of them will have less, and that's okay. It's all just kind of how it goes. But again, I'm super happy with this. There will be a couple little air pockets, and that's okay. Sometimes that happens. So all of our gemstone subs will be available on April 2nd. That's a Monday, which is different from our normal. Normally we're on April 1st, or we would be on the first of the month. But not going to do it this time because April 1st is Easter Sunday. So we're going to skip that and go for the second. I hope to see you there. But otherwise, I will see you next time where we make another soap. Bye!